Hello. In today's tutorial, I'm going to cover a subject which many people have been asking for, which is how to program something in Leechy and have both curved turns and actions. To save a bit of time, I set up a, a simple mission here. Curved turns with actions. I'm going to open that. And it's a very basic mission, but here's the, the nub of it. This is my house, so I've got a, a point of interest on my house. I've got the height set to 175 feet at the first waypoint, set to cruising speed, it's focus POI, and I have an action that says start recording. If I go to the second waypoint, you'll see I have several actions here, stop recording, take photo, take another photo, then go to the third waypoint, I start recording again, Go to the fourth waypoint, I stop recording, take a photo, start recording again. And on the fifth waypoint, I just stop recording. So nothing particularly crazy. The other thing that I did do was at waypoint number four, just for giggles, I changed the altitude to 200 feet. So nothing particularly complex here. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to say export a CSV. And this is where it gets a little sneaky because while I program this in Leechy, I'm actually going to run it using a program called DroneLink. So for those of you not aware, DroneLink, which can be found here, dronelink.com, is a competitor to Leechy in some ways, but it's actually a much more designed for commercial applications. So as such, it has a lot more features and functionality, but it can be a little daunting to get into. Um, it's a little harder to program in many respects than Leechy. So as a result, I think some people have been shying away from it. But it does have the option to import from Leechy. So I'm going to add this to my private projects and I'm going to import Curve Turns with Actions, which is the CSV file we just saved and say open. And it's going to give you some information about what it's about to do. You just say import. And now we have the, um, the mission imported into DroneLink. So in DroneLink, these little purple markers, they're the things that tell DroneLink the actions that you want to take. So in this particular case, if you look at this one, it says start capture um, over here. If I can get close enough. Stop capture, um, take two photos, and then start capture again. Over here, similar kind of thing. Altitude to 200 feet, stop capture, um, take two photos. Oh, actually, one photo, and then start the, the video mode capture. You can see it just says mode, so it's telling you that you're changing the video mode there. You could drill into that if you wanted. And then over here, number five, get close enough. I can't actually, it's getting confused between the two, but basically what it's telling it to do there is to stop the capture. DroneLink gives you warnings. So over here, you'll see they've got this little warning. And if I click on it, it says camera mode attempted before camera stop capture, which basically means over here, we started capture before we really set the camera up. I'm actually going to add a component that I've saved that resets all my camera settings. Um, and I'm going to move it to the front and you'll see the, the warning disappear. So this particular thing, I mean, not something I'm going to cover here, but I have this in almost all of my missions that I use in DroneLink. And it sets up all of the features like the camera resolution, um, you know, what uh, color profile I want, where I want things stored. So this one, for example, tells it to store on the SD card. Um, if you're using a Mavic 2, um, you have options there. Um, so, but basically reset the camera, set everything back to, to the way I like, start the path, run the mission, and then the final item is the stop capture. So that is how to set it up in DroneLink. Fairly straightforward, but as you can see, all the actions are here, but you've also got these curved turns. And we can actually play around with this. One thing I do want to show is that similar to 
Leachy and Virtual Leachy Mission, for those that are familiar with that, you can preview this mission and also run it in 3D in Google Earth. So I'll quickly show you that. If I click on this icon here for Mission Preview, it will generate a preview. And the preview contains quite a bit. First of all, over here, um, you have a 2D map, which isn't the best, but it's not too bad. But it also gives you a lot of information about what's actually going to happen during the flight. So you can preview it in 2D over here. But in addition, it tells you each of the functions that it's going to be running, what actions it's taken there. This approach is something you would know if you knew more about drone link. What camera actions are being taken? So all of these crazy things over here, that's my initial setup of the camera. And then, you know, over here, it sets the mode to video, starts the capture, and you can see down here what it's actually going to capture. So you've got a video, two photos, a video, another photo, and a video, which um, I actually really like this feature. Um, it has other information, battery management, um, altitude. So that's a good one for seeing if it suddenly drops. That means you've got something wrong, usually. It's got different speeds, so horizontal speed, vertical speed, and so on. Um, but uh, that's quite good. But as I said, this thing over here is, is not particularly great because it's in 2D, but you can always click on this export to Google Earth. Go over here, click on that, and it's imported into Google Earth. And then just like Virtual Leachy Mission, you can double click and play in Google Earth. Not quite sure why it's pointing at the sky to begin with, but um, you know, I've obviously sped this up, but that's the mission that it's going to perform. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this outside and we're going to go fly that mission and just prove that it actually works. And here we are outside my house. Three, two, one. Starting mission. So drone link is going to take off and similar to Lychee, there's an image in the bottom left hand corner that shows you the path. You can swap that so that that becomes the main image um, or leave the camera view as the main, which is what I've done here. I will say that before I ran this, I had to do a couple of tweaks. Um, I discovered there's some interesting features in drone link such as the speed gets set to whatever the first speed is that you program so there you can see it just started taking video and the video is showing down in the bottom right hand corner Now we're taking photos and then it's going to go back to taking video. I did notice moving back to video, there was a bit of a delay. So the videos themselves were not as long. So you'd have to factor that in when you're programming. And that's it. Mission accomplished. 